Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A Balt and Bingham attorney and the Drummond Company Vice President of Government Affairs have been found guilty on all federal charges involving bribery of an Alabama legislator. The verdict was announced late Friday afternoon after a four-week trial. Balt partner Joel Gilbert and Drummond VP David Roberson were convicted on all six criminal charges, conspiracy, bribery, three counts of honest services wire fraud, and money laundering. They were on trial together, but jurors were told to consider their actions and cases separately. Prosecutors said the two men bribed former state representative Oliver Robinson to oppose the Environmental Protection Agency's expansion of a Superfund site, and also to oppose prioritizing the site's expensive cleanup. U.S. Attorney Jay Town said after the verdict that the case was not about the EPA nor about pollution. This was a case about greed at the expense of too many, he stated in a prepared release. The findings of guilt for these three individuals, by trial or plea, should forewarn anyone who would be corruptly motivated to act in similar unlawful interest, Town stated. Voters deserve public officials who seek to represent them honestly and fairly. When elected officials, corporate executives, or their lawyers violate our federal laws, they should expect to suffer the fate of these three guilty defendants. We appreciate the dedication of the federal agencies that worked tirelessly on this case. Drummond Co. immediately issued a statement after the verdict. We are disappointed by the jury's decision to convict our employee, David Roberson. While we respect the judicial process, we consider David to be a man of integrity who would not knowingly engage in wrongdoing, according to the Drummond statement. When an environmentalist group raised allegations regarding our operations in the Birmingham area, Drummond responded by hiring one of Alabama's most well-respected environmental law firms. As testimony in the trial showed, we were assured the firm's community outreach efforts on our behalf were legal and proper. Stan Blanton, managing partner, Balch and Bingham LLP, also issued a statement that says Gilbert is no longer with the firm. We respect the trial process and the jury's verdict. The jury determined that Joel Gilbert engaged in conduct that is contrary to the standards to which each of us at Balch and Bingham is committed and expected to uphold, he stated.